Hello, in this video we're going to talk a little bit about the main method and we're going to add some more statements to our main method. So far we've got this program here. All it does is when you run it, it outputs some text. Hello world in this case. Let's recreate that program and it's, it's a really good idea to try yourself creating basic Java Hello World programs from scratch because you want to sort of drill that into your mind and memorize it. So we go to File, New Java Project, and give it a name. Let's call this um, Main Method. So I'm going to check that I'm using Java 11 in this case. Click Next. I don't need a module, so I'll untick this, and we'll click Finish. Then, without even expanding the the, um, the project, I can just right click it and go to new class. Let's call the class app. We can call it more or less anything as long as it's got a first case, uh, an uppercase first letter and no spaces or punctuation or anything like that. The package, I'm going to call it application. This has to have a lowercase first letter and I'm going to tick to say that I want a public static void main and I'm going to click finish. Then finally I can add some code to my main method. So between these two inner brackets here I'm going to delete the comment, I'm going to type sysout and I'm going to type um, well hello world again let's say. Uh, so notice I'm indenting um, the code within brackets. So this code is indented within these brackets using a tab in this case and this, this code here is indented within these brackets. We're going to talk more about that in the next video. Let's just run it and check it works. It's a good idea always to try running your Java projects early on to make sure there's not some misconfiguration or anything. And there we go, it says hello world just like the other program. So let's have a look at this. So I want to focus in this video on this, the main method. So a method in, um, well, in uh, what we're doing here is object-oriented programming. So Java is an object-oriented language. And it's hard to understand what that is until you know what an object is. So we'll leave that for the moment and tackle it later. But in object-oriented programming languages, subroutines are known as methods. This is an example of a method. It's a method called main. And what a method is, it's, it's a block of code. So it's a collection of statements like this one. This is a statement. It ends in a semicolon. And in this case, the main method is very special because it's where our Java program starts executing, starts running in other words. So when you run a Java program, what gets run is the content of the main method. Now we can put more statements in here. Have a go at this yourself, maybe either pause the video or after the video. Let's add a new line and e Eclipse helpfully puts the cursor in an appropriate place usually. So we want to make sure that the statements that we write here are lined up with this system.out.print line statement. Let's add another one. So sysout control space. This is another line of text. Don't forget those speech marks there. So if you type one, Eclipse puts in the other automatically, usually. And don't forget the semicolon either because it, it won't work without this semicolon at the end. Let's run that and we should get two lines of text like this. Here we are. We can put more in. Let's put one more in. Let's write sys out and um, final line of text. You can type what you want within reason really. And we'll run that again. So let's run it. There we go. And it looks like this. Try that out. It might not seem like much, but uh, we're building up gradually and it's going to get hard enough 
later on. So you want to really get these basics down. Notice I've left a blank line there. Um, I don't have to. We'll, we'll talk about that more in the next video. But uh, space within a Java program is not important. We could also write it like this. And that would, ju that would work just as well. Let's run this. So the important sort of takeaway message for this video is when your Java program runs, um, the, the Java runtime environment will search for a main method, a method called main, and that's what this is. In other words, a subroutine, which has the sort of correct syntax and is called main. And then it's going to run the statements within main, and it's going to run them in the order that you see them. And this, this can get a lot more complicated, as we'll see later on. But for a simple program like this, um, we're, we're just going to step down the statements here. They're going to get run one after the other. So first that, then that, and so on. Um, in the sort of initial part of this course, um, we'll stick with just writing code here. And later on, we'll see what else you can do with methods and classes and objects and all that sort of thing. So try that for yourself. Try putting space in or no space. Have a go at it. Put some more lines in your main method and run it. Okay, so that's it for this video. In, in, and until next time, happy coding.